guys welcome back so we got that battle from last episode that we still needed to deal with so this guy last time i remembered is he's like the guy that like kicks down the doors and stuff like that so always the biggest one there all right so let's go ahead and get everyone prepared uh we got i don't think we'll really need anyone to guard the gate actually but in the case that we do i'll send him over here and then we'll get some archers uh, set up on the roof here. We'll set them up in little divisions so we might be able to get them as they're running away. Um, so we'll have probably about those guys. Um, I would say we'll probably set those guys up over here. And we'll set these guys. That leaves four. Uh, we might be able to get a couple more. At least one more. So we'll have these ones over here. And then everyone else can go towards the gate. Well, Sylvester needs to um, barricade that door up, right? He's always the guy that does that. <laughs> so we'll set him over here and then we'll tell him to build that in. And while we're doing that, we can arm this person. Giving that it's a battle for um, melee, we'll be able to hopefully have a bow ready. Uh, I'm not sure if she can use a war bro. Hmm. Can she? Acquires level 10. Apparently she can. Perfect. Okay, so we'll get her all set up. And by then we can situate her on the top there. So it'll take them a while to get over there. They have to go all the way around and stuff, so we'll start coming this way. Yeah, there they are. They're starting to run now. Alright. Now you can go up here. And we'll just wait until they get a little bit closer and then we'll board it up. Well, they're actually really booking it, aren't they? Right through all the boars and deers. Deers are like, I'm not going to be around when this all goes down. <laughs> yeah, the only thing about having the, the gates like this is they have to like, it can either happen really quickly or it could happen really like shorter like it is now. But I mean, they're, they're getting there. They'll catch up eventually and these guys will be able to cover this area for the most part I wish that wasn't there so we could still snipe them as they were trying to get through that area but and then
sorry, guys. So, what have I been doing? I told them to chop down a bunch of little trees and bushes in here, uh, just to make it a little bit more tidier. And, um, what else have I done? I, oh, we did take care of that battle. Um, dogs have been mostly taking care of all the, uh, things. I was going to record it, and I, I thought I was recording, but... It turns out I forgot to press the recording button, so it didn't uh, go through. I just got like literally just after when I went to check the time because I was like concentrated on making sure everyone was um, taken care of. So they're all there. We one got away, but that's not too bad. Uh, the other guy made a fatal mis d decision and ended up going around here, and then he was going to run this way. And we basically got them on the wall. Uh, we just kind of got our people to run along the wall here and take them out. So uh, we got, I think, some metal, iron, uh, iron. Uh, so a few iron parts. We can actually get some of this set up for her. Uh, this is good armor. So we'll tell her to wear that. And let's we'll see if we can't find a fairly decent helmet for her as well. Uh, flimsy... Not sure exactly if there's a good one or not. That one's sturdy. It's got a little bit more hit points on it. Uh, good helmet. So we can tell her to pick that one up after she's on her way back. So she'll have some protection. And we should probably... I think I didn't set up her um, things here. So she needs to be ranged. This one should be... Like I don't mind melee but I don't know what one so we'll go with two-handed melee I think that's what she, he's with right now helmet winter all armor we'll go with all armor and winter appeal and helmet no shield range bow uh, food two we need make sure everyone else is food two and stimulant two so that should do everyone just fine now, I don't know if she's on her way back. Uh, did she? Yeah, she already picked that up. Good. All right, so we'll tell her to equip that. And she's already got a, a war bow, so it's a good quality one. I like how everyone's doing their little part and making sure all the pieces get brought in and stuff as well. All right, so she's all set up, and everyone else should have pretty good stuff. Does Sylvester have a silver helmet? All that good silver, yeah, that's <laughs>
So I've been basically working on getting the farm over on this side a little bit better. Uh, we had really small farm before, so I thought I would end up uh, expanding it a little bit more and decorating it so it aligns with the path a little bit more so it's, you know, properly uh, built. So I've also been alternating the fences a little bit just to make it a little bit more appealing and to match with the bridge design that we have over here as well. So, and I have been thinking about the um, the design with the, the rim and I think I like it like this more. I'll uh, we'll probably do that when we get to this bridge over here. So we'll probably adjust the the double part that I was going to go with originally. But I think I like it with the um, just on the edge there. It looks a little bit more um, well thought through and stuff like that. So we'll probably end up doing that uh, instead. Now they still have to get the bricks built in under here. I don't know where he's going. He's going to remove some of this stuff. So... Yeah, basically, that's basically what I've been doing. I've just been building the farm. I don't know how much room we're going to have until we get here. We have uh, beetroots, I think. Yeah, beetroots, uh, carrots. We'll have cabbage. And then we still need flax and... Well, hold on a second. Carrots? Yeah, carrots, flax, and the other one. So we might be able to fit it all in this area. And I've been moving the um, banners so they're directly across from the fences. That might help with the shading a little bit. I'm not entirely sure if they actually affect the light or not. But um, I thought I would probably just move them to the outside so it would be a little bit better. And yeah, I've upgraded to better gates as well so it's not that wooden or the stick ones. It's uh, actual wooden ones now. I wish they had wooden fences. Like... It would be really nice for a wooden fence variant to match the the gate kind of like to like flat like this but just like plank wise so it would be a little bit like a medium expensive version not so cheap as sticks but not as expensive as the actual um limestone because limestone is pretty expensive like i hate using it i'd rather use it for paths but it does look a lot better and it when you mix it in with the actual stick ones, so it's just I wish there was wooden ones or I would be using that instead, but at least for the stick, I don't know maybe we'd use it for the stick, I'm not sure but outside of that, yeah, that's basically what I've been working on um, probably continue working on that and they're getting the bridge quite built and I started planning out this part over here now so we'll be building that in a couple minutes or so, probably the next couple days Alright, so we got pretty much the first bridge done. I'm um, pretty happy with how it looks uh, actually. So we'll probably end up 
uh, fencing off this part right here uh, to this point uh, with some sort of fence design. I'm not sure what I'll end up going with just yet, but uh, just to kind of break up the um, river part a little bit. And uh, they're still working on the building it and everything like that. But the arches are in, so that's good. That's the first step. And then uh, I think these guys are slowly working on building up the... Um, the actual retaining wall, which is great because then we can start focusing on the other two bridges. Uh, this one and the one that will be over here and there should be enough room to build all that. Hopefully. Um, no, this bridge is taking a little bit longer because it hasn't, it doesn't have like the, the resources close by, but, um, once we get everything, um, like start working on this bridge it'll be a lot closer to the supplies and stuff like that for these ones so it should go a lot faster I would say probably a couple more days until we have um, everything ready for actually filling it in with water and I'm just hoping that when I disable the the mod and stuff like that it will keep the water there um, I'm not sure if that's the case so I'm hoping that it will because I don't really want to have to keep updating the um, uh, the game in order to keep it there, but we'll see how it all turns out. I'm not sure. I'm completely new to, you know, modding this particular game, so. Um, but the important thing is once we get the water in, I want it to basically be there for fishing and stuff like that, and that'll open up a lot more doors for things, so. But that's why we've been building the, the walls and, um, this part. Once we get that part done, we can focus on the rest of the wall. Uh, segments and just get all that built and I just realized I'm gonna have to remove the move the stockpile for the bones and stuff again whoops yeah it, it's in the corner of the wall so I'm gonna have to figure out a place for it but uh, we'll figure that out uh, another day outside of that if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out